miracle medicine capable of stopping kidney disease progression just got FDA approval. It cuts down kidney failure risk by 50% in stage 2 to 4 CKD. Catherine from Double Kini here. Welcome to a very special video. Something huge just happened in the world of kidney disease. A lot of pharmaceutical companies made a lot, and I mean a lot of money from the recent world crisis. Luckily, one of these companies decided to reinvest some of their huge profit in something useful for once. Dapaglyph Flossin sold under the name Forexiga and Forexiga is a new prescription medication that's just been approved for the treatment of CKD. It has been proven by an extensive phase 3 trial to significantly slow down the progression of CKD in adults with and without type 2 diabetes. This approval is considered the most significant advancement in the treatment of chronic kidney disease in more than 20 years. And I believe this to be true. Forexiga was tested on people with kidney disease with a huge impressive success. And as huge impressive, I mean that it was able to produce an incredible 39% reduction of kidney disease progression in people with CKD stage 2 to 4. The result of the phase 3 clinical trial were so good. The Independent Data Monitoring Committee recommended stopping the trial because of the incredible efficacy of this medicine. Basically, the Independent Committee didn't want to wait. They wanted Forexiga to hit the market immediately because it can save lives. Okay, this is not something you read every day. Actually, in eight years studying kidney health, this is the first time I read about something like that. So I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is going to be a revolution in the way kidney disease is treated. You'll hear a lot about this in the next months, I bet. And now, before rushing to your doctor to get this prescribed, which you should absolutely do, by the way, there's a significant side effect you should know about. Forexiga was extensively tested and it's known to make your kidney function drop initially. Today, in the next part of the video, I'll show you how to avoid this and I'll also show you exactly who should be getting this medicine and who shouldn't. So please watch this video till the end. By the way guys, have you heard about this before? Has your doctor or anyone else talk about them? Are you ready taking Forexiga? Let me know in the comment section. Actually, you should probably have heard about Forexiga in the news. In fact, after receiving FDA approval, this medicine just made the news again for also being approved in Europe for the treatment of chronic kidney disease, but not all doctors are going to prescribe it right away. Many doctors don't even know about the existence of this medicine, I bet. And since this medicine can change the lives of hundreds of thousands of people with CKD, please share this video with anyone you know with kidney problems or diabetes. I promise that what I will show you today can change people's lives. But you don't have to believe me. Let's science speak. Let's see how Forexiga is going to stop the progression of kidney disease. Dapagliflozin Forexiga is a SGLT2, sodium glucose cotransporter inhibitor. This means that it basically lowers blood sugar by causing the kidneys to remove sugar from the body through the urine. It's a glucose eliminating molecule which causes less reuptake of glucose from the kidneys and liver and releases the excess glucose out of the body via urine. It's not the only medication of its type. Invocana and Jardians are other SGLT2 with similar properties. All SGLT2 can significantly reduce the risk of heart failure in people with diabetes, lower risk of stroke, heart attack, and death from cardiovascular disease in people with type 2 diabetes. 
SGLT2 inhibitors may also promote weight loss and modest improvements in your blood pressure and blood cholesterol levels. So there are several SGLT2 on the market that are already being prescribed to people with diabetes and then there is Farxiga. The difference is that Farxiga also works to slow down the progression of kidney disease in people without diabetes. And this also works exceptionally well for people with IgA nephropathy. Overall, it can dramatically slow down the progression of kidney disease in almost every single kidney disease patient. This is what we're interested in, obviously. A 39% reduction of kidney disease progression in people with CKD stage 2 to 4, to be exact. Okay, this looks amazing, am I right? And I want to be very clear here that I'm not being sponsored by the manufacturer of this medicine. I don't like them that much and I can even pronounce their name on YouTube or my video will immediately disappear. Yep. But you know, with this kind of result produced in a phase 3 clinical trial, it was my duty to inform you guys about it. Also, there's a very important side effect you should know about. As I was saying, taking Farxiga can cause an initial drop in kidney function. This is very important. Please, before rushing to your doctor to get a prescription, please take a look at this. What are we looking at? This is the results from the DAPA CKD phase 3 trial. They tested Farxiga dapagliflozin on 4,304 participants with CKD GFR from 25 to 75 or stage of CKD 2 to 4. The trial lasted 36 months, as we can see. These lines you see here represent the change in GFR from baseline. Now, GFR means glomerular filtration rate. It's the main indicator of kidney disease. It actually defines in what stage of the disease you're in. The aim of any treatment for kidney disease is to make this line as flat as possible. Now, as we can see here, there will be an initial drop in GFR when starting taking this prescription. It's very sudden. We are talking about two weeks. So you'll basically notice it the first time you'll get your kidney function check after starting Parxiga. And we are also looking at a four points drop in GFR. And that's a lot. I know that many of you guys really care about these numbers. GFR, creatinine, and well, you should care because they tell you how much your kidneys are healthy. And you know what? Name one thing that's more important than health. I'll wait. None? Good. So you have every right to worry about the decline in GFR. But in this case, it's perfectly normal and it's actually supposed to happen because then your kidney function will hold stable for much longer over years and decline at a slower pace. This is what this line tells us. You see, this red line is the placebo group. They didn't receive Parxiga. They were receiving standard care, so blood pressure lowering pills, statins, diuretics, and all the usual. Yet, their GFR went down by 12 points in 36 months, which is the normal rate of declining people with CKD. Now, let's take a look at this other line, the blue line. This is the Farc Siga group. They were receiving standard care, just like the control group, but they also took one more pill a day of Farc Siga. After 36 months, their GFR went down by just nine points, which is a huge improvement. It actually means that the chance of the worst outcomes of kidney disease death, cardiac events, a declining kidney function of more than 50% or dialysis are reduced by a whooping 39% for those taking Farxiga. 
Now, this was proven by a very large study conducted for more than three years on more than 4,000 patients. And these numbers are exceptional. Again, this works for people with CKD caused by diabetes, by high blood pressure, for those with IgA nephropathy and other causes. Now, talking about IgA nephropathy, there's something I want to show you. In this pre-specified analysis, we demonstrate that among participants with IgA nephropathy, dapagliflozin reduced the risk of the primary composite outcome by 71% and the secondary kidney-specific outcome by 75%. This in itself is very significant compared with an existing treatment. So those with IgA nephropathy are going to get even better results from taking this medicine. And this makes Farxiga probably the most effective IgA nephropathy treatment yet. Now back to our chart. If we take another look at the red line, the placebo group, and the blue line, people with CKD from any cause, we can notice one more thing. These two lines are getting more far apart the longer the study continues. Here, the blue line is almost flat. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next years, when we will have more data, the numbers for Farxiga will be even better. So back to the initial drop in kidney function. How much should you be worried about it? Not at all. If you start to take Farxiga at the next blood test, your kidney function is lower. Don't worry. Focus on the long-term improvement instead. The aim here is to have your kidneys working at their best for as long as possible. And this is way more important than any number in a test. Actually, the results with Farxiga are so good that the recommendation you will get from your doctor is that even a 30% decline in GFR may be worth continuing taking it. Yes, researchers have that much faith in this new medicine. This is why I told you this is the biggest thing that happened in the last 20 years at least. So, Here's a question many of you guys may be asking right now. Why hasn't my doctor prescribed it to me yet? Well, it's a very new medicine. It was approved by the US FDA for the treatment of kidney disease just three months ago. In Europe, it was approved just four days ago. These kind of things take a lot of time to get from the labs to the patients. It may take years. Many doctors may not know or not care about this yet. This is why it's crucial getting informed, like you are doing right now. Now, this is not a new substance though. Forexiga and other SGLT2 such as Invocana and Jargians have already been prescribed to people with diabetes, even those with CKD for some years now. So another very important question, is this approved where I live? This new medicine is already available in many parts of the world. As we have seen, the US and Europe have approved it for CKD. In India, Canada, Australia, it has been approved for kidney disease too. In the Philippines, this medicine is approved for diabetic patients only at this time. Farxiga has other side effects that you should discuss with your doctor before taking it, such as increased risk for infections, dehydration, and low blood sugar levels. Also, it's important to know that it can interact with insulin, so people taking insulin should be very careful. It can be still take with insulin, but if you are being prescribed it while taking insulin, be careful and get monitored for blood sugar levels regularly. Another drawback is that there is no generic version for Parxiga yet, and not all insurances cover it. There are also patients that cannot take it. This includes those with type 1 diabetes, polycystic kidney disease, lupus nephritis. Now guys, if I have forgot something, please ask in comment section so we can talk about it. You will hear more in the future about this, I bet. But this is all for today. A new video is coming next Friday, as usual, and I hope to see you there. Take care!